part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly FNM environment. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Clots Productions and welcome back to game two of the match between Frights and Black White Tokens. Nick started on the play with the Plains and then Harrison laid down a Razor Verge Thicket and cast a Birds of Paradise. Nick then played an Isolated Chapel and used to gather the townsfolk to get himself two human tokens. Harrison laid down a Shimmering Grotto and cast a Mulch on his turn. He revealed a Norn, a Faithless Looting, an Avacyn's Pilgrim, and a Lingering Souls, but unfortunately no lands. Nick then played an Honor of the Pure and attacked with his two tokens for four, dropping Harrison to 16. Harrison flashed back his Faithless Looting on his turn and discarded another Looting along with an Unburial Rites. He then played a Forest and passed, at which point Nick paid two life going down to 18 to cast a Surgical Extraction and remove all of the Unburial Rites from Harrison's library. Nick attacked for another four on his turn, dropping Harrison to 12. In post-combat, he played a Doom Traveler. Harrison used an Oblivion Ring to get rid of Nick's Honor of the Pure and then flashed back his Lingering Souls to get two Spirit Tokens. Nick then attacked with his team, so Harrison traded the tokens and then took one from the Traveler going to 11. Then post-combat, Nick played another Gather the Townsfolk to get himself two more humans. Harrison flashed back another Faithless Looting on his turn and discarded a Razor Verge Thicket and severed the Bloodline. He then played a second Birds of Paradise and laid down a Copper Line Gorge. Nick then laid down a Vault of the Archangel and attacked with his team again, activating the Vault. Harrison just took it, going down to 8 and bringing Nick up to 21. Harrison then played an Elish Norn Grand Cenobite from his hand and wiped Nick's board. He then attacked with his bird for 2, dropping him to 19. Nick then used the Day of Judgment on his turn, destroying all of Harrison's creatures as well. Harrison just played a Black Cleave Cliffs on his turn and then Nick used a Lingering Souls to get himself 2 spirits. Nick activated his vaults and attacks with his two spirits on his next turn, dropping Harrison to 6 and going back to 21 himself. Harrison just played Land Go and then Nick attacked again, dropping him to 4 but didn't activate his vault this turn. Then post combat, he flashed back his Lingering Souls to get two more spirits. So then Harrison flashed back his Sever the Bloodline to get rid of all of Nick's tokens. Nick then laid down a Swamp and cast another Lingering Souls to get two more spirits. However, Harrison then played an Inferno Titan and used it to kill the spirits and take Nick back to 20. The Titan didn't stick around long though, because Nick immediately used a Celestial Purge to exile it. He then flashed back his Lingering Souls on his turn, and then Harrison used an Oblivion Ring to get rid of one of the spirits. Nick then activated his Vault and attacked, taking Harrison to 3 and went back up to 21 himself. Harrison just played another Birds on his turn, and then Nick attacked again, making the life totals 2 to 22. Nick then activated his Vault and attacked again on his next turn, making the life totals 1 to 23. Then Harrison played yet another Bird, and Nick continued attacking, so Harrison chump blocked this time, and Nick went to 24. Post combat, he played a Champion of the Parish, and then on Harrison's turn, he drew the most timely reinforcements ever, and went back up to 7 life, and got himself 3 Soldiers. Nick just chose to activate his vault and attack with his token on his turn, so Harrison took it going down to 6. In post combat, Nick played another Doom Traveler, pumping his champion. Harrison just played Land Go, and then Nick activated his vault and attacked with his team this time. Harrison chose to block the Traveler with one token and the champion with the other two, killing them all, and then took one damage from the token going down to 5. However, Nick forgot to get himself another spirit when the Traveler died. Harrison laid down a Gavany Township on his turn, and then at the end of the turn, Nick used a Midnight Haunting to get two more spirits. Nick then activated his vault and attacked with his team again. Harrison chose to activate his Township to pump his bird and then trade it with one of the spirit tokens, and then took the other two, going down to three. Harrison just played a Sun Petal Grove on his turn, and then Nick drew an Intangible Virtue and swung for lethal, giving him the win and taking them to game three. So that's it for this gameplay, I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version in the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online. 